Member for Dunkley. Thank you. I, I, Speaker, I was just speculating with my colleagues um, whether the shadow minister wrote that speech, and given his second of it, perhaps he did. Um, I'm going to give the member for Hughes this credit. She wasn't in the parliament for the last term, um, so of course didn't witness firsthand in this place what that government was like. It was not the fairy tale that was just contained in that speech, that's for sure. But the member for Hughes, I assume, was in the community in the last three years and was in the community for the last nine years in which the Liberal National Government did everything it could, one suspects, to trash trust in politics and trust in government from the Australian people. Did everything it could, one suspects, to undermine the fundamental institutions of this democracy and this gov and government for, I don't know what, their own benefit, because it wasn't for the benefit of the Australian people. I mean, the member for Hughes starts her speech for her motion by saying real wages are rapidly eroding. <laughs> that hasn't happened in the last 100 days, you need to know. That, as part of the deliberate design feature of the last government, is something that Australians have been struggling with for a very long time and which the previous government ignored because it was a deliberate design feature. But here we have a new government that in the first 100 days argued to the Fair Work Commission to increase the minimum wage so that the lowest paid workers in this country, their wages could at least keep up with inflation. Now we have a government that is prepared to go to the Fair Work Commission and literally put its money, money where its mouth is and support a pay increase for aged care workers, highly feminised industry, some of the poorest paid workers in this country, some of the most important workers in this country caring for older, vulnerable Australians, so they can get a pay rise and we finally have a government that says, and we're prepared to do the work we need to do to back that pay rise. The member for Hughes says, oh, well, this government has no credibility because it would spend more than the last government. It would spend taxpayer money in areas that benefit the people that are struggling, not in areas that benefit the people who are already doing so well and are already privileged. That's the difference. And I kick myself because just sometimes I give the other side a bit of credit and think maybe if you've been running a line that is not particularly truthful and isn't working, you might give it up and come back to the next sitting of parliament with something else. But no, we're going to hear again apparently for the next two weeks that the government has walked away from its election promise to reduce power prices. I don't know if I have to remind you, but I will, Member for Hughes and the Shadow Minister at the table. There's this you know, report about the increase in um, prices that was hidden by the former government before the election that we had to release. I also will explain to you Thanks, our much. promise yeah, about yeah. reducing power prices is part of our promise to act on climate change, to invest in renewable energy to have 83 per cent of the grid be renewable energy by 2030, to reduce emissions by 43 per cent by 2030. That's how prices will be reduced and that's how we will be working towards protecting our environment and protecting the future. Ridiculous debate based not on fact about promises from the election is going to do nothing to address the cost of living or to move things forward. And when you say we don't have a plan, we've got a plan that's already helped low-paid workers increase wages. We've got a plan to address the bargaining system in this country, which has meant that wages haven't increased and productivity hasn't increased. The budget has measures um, for cheaper medicine. We've had a jobs and skills summit, which has come up with a range of um, options to increase workers' um, value 
and productivity and deal with cost of living. We've got a plan for cheaper childcare. We've got a plan the for more bulk billing. The member's time has expired. I thank the member for the, the member's time has expired. I thank the member for Dunkley. The question is. That the